What up everybody, it's your boy, this my sneaker head in the house coming with another quick video. Uh, before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, I truly appreciate it. This is just a very quick discussion video. Um, I noticed a lot of people were talking about this topic and I figured I'd give my opinion. Um, and that topic is quality versus craftsmanship. Um, as we all know, Jordan was harping on quality for the remastered series. For the most part, it's somewhat failed. Now, quality and craftsmanship, in my opinion, should go hand in hand, but technically they're two different things. So I'm just holding this up here because the Hair 7s is probably one of the most complained about kits when it came to quality. As you can see there, look at how poorly painted and colored in that is. You can see glue all throughout, and you can see that glue smudge there glue throughout the whole shoe um, some stitching that's out quality generally means materials so Jordan brand and a lot of brands were that have always been good for quality like Saucony, New Balance, um, Asics um, you know higher-end brands the quality comes in the material the leather the suede the new buck um, whatever even simple materials like mesh and nylon just the quality is just there and, and when it comes to Jordan brand this year, I think for the most part, the quality has stepped up for sure. You know, they placed emphasis on the leather, on the, the Jordan logo and the stitching there, and they have improved. It's never going to be, you know, Marcella or, you know, Buscemi or any of those type of brand quality. I mean, you spend anywhere from 700 to to $1,000 for a pair of kicks for those. But... For a shoe that's performance based and for us sneakerheads more of a casual base, it's pretty good. And honestly, if we think about it, people complaining about quality and craftsmanship like I've done several times, once it's on our feet, who's really going to notice? Nobody, not even us. You know, we notice it now because as sneaker collectors, we look at every fiber. But back then, quality wasn't the best either. It was better, but it wasn't the best. You still had stitching, you still had glue, you still had paint problems, etc. But quality, in the original sense of the word, is what's used. Craftsmanship is how that quality is used. Um, how those quality materials, rather, are used. When it comes to Jordan brand and how they used uh, the quality materials, the craftsmanship is still the same. When you make half a million pairs, or 200,000 pairs, or 300,000 pairs of shoes, you're going to get that poor craftsmanship. So, for example, the Hair 7s. Those, overall, the craftsmanship's terrible. I saw so many people complain about the glue, the stitching, the paint. Oh, the paint was horrendous on a lot of pairs. On, on a shoe like this, which is pretty much a white and a light gray, that stands out. You know, if it was a black, black shoe, or you know a dark darker color shoe you wouldn't notice it as much but i personally think that the craftsmanship for jordan brand particularly because that's really what everybody's talking about no one complains about it when it comes to other brands as much even if they have mistakes but in relation to jordan brand and the whole remastered series quality has been improved craftsmanship has not and i don't think craftsmanship will get better for unless it's a limited shoe um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, an 8,000 pair of shoe like the Just Dons or whatever was rumored to be. Um, it could still be, you know, let's say last year with the year of the sixes. You had amazing quality on the, well, the history of flight sixes or the Spizike sixes is what people called them. On the champagne and cigar sixes. Um, even the infrared 23 sixes. Those had really good quality. Um the slam dunk sixes had dope quality on those too with a limited number of pairs Jordan brand seems to take more time with it because they don't have as many to pump out even though as much as I'd like to say that Jordan brand really did quality the way I see it which is quality and craftsmanship all in one don't expect much from that again yes we're, it's a hundred ninety dollar price tag or $170 for Lowe's, but that's still a low price for a sneaker that you want this amazing quality from. There's other brands, New Balance, Saucony, you could get 
dollars. For a hundred dollars, you could get the be better suede, better construction, better quality, better craftsmanship. But that's just how it is. And again, with those brands, they don't make as many pairs. It, it take more time making their kicks, and it shows. The J Jordan brand. Every week there has to be a release, or every two weeks there has to be a release. And they keep pumping out kicks, and you're just gonna get terrible craftsmanship. Oh, one more note, I noticed more so, when it comes with shoes that are predominantly all leather, Jordan brand does a good job. The Columbia 4s, the Oreo 4s, I mean, I know a lot of people, the French Blue 7s, a lot of people, some people had complaints about them, but overall, my pairs looked amazing from the paint to the sti to the stitching to, of course, to the tumbled leather. The tumbled leather naturally gives a better look when it comes to quality. When you see tumbled leather, you instantly think it's better quality. Um, so a shoe that's pretty much all tumbled leather is really going to pop. But when you have a shoe where it's multiple materials or, you know, let's say new bucks, nylon, suede, uh, maybe a little bit of leather where it's all mixed in like the sevens it doesn't turn out as well so let me know what you guys think down below let me know how you feel about the remastered series let me know your opinions about what quality and craftsmanship is but yeah that's it folks thanks for tuning in more videos are on the way and with that being said it's your boy this is my sneakerhead and a brother is out peace